Welcome back to the Era Crown Crypto Channel. It's a nice little Tuesday morning here as we get ready for some nice Bitcoin uh, price action analysis. A very serious day indeed as Bitcoin heads up above 45,000 bucks, even above 46,000 bucks on CME, by the way, uh, trading at 46,335. Um, but the question of the day is, is Bitcoin going to continue and, you know, where are the major areas of interest for this? As uh, we kind of been expecting, or at least probabilistically speaking, looking for a likely extension of this rally to the, uh, to the upside. The question is, how high, sh you know, can it go? How high? high um, are the major areas of interest and then from there well I do want to remind myself to once again talk about that hey at some point we are gonna see a pretty major pullback um, but first higher anyways uh, before we get into it and because I did not uh, make an announcement of it yesterday and nearly forgot about it today we do have a sale going on I'll extend it for one more day so we'll run it through what's tomorrow tomorrow's Wednesday we'll run it through Wednesday, yeah, through Wednesday, that'll be the last day, and uh, and you can find a link in the description below for all of those, especially the HPDR bundle and uh, in the Crown Quant automation where you can actually automate your trades and execution and in uh, backsys and all that good stuff. All right, sweet, enough shilling into the actual uh, into the actual analysis, and we can start off right in over here. Uh, with Bitcoin on the daily, looking at our daily statistics. And we can see that Tuesday is Bitcoin day, typically. As 60, almost 60.5% of Tuesdays have closed positively in Bitcoin's history, in, in Bitcoin's full history. So Tuesday uh, does favor mostly the laws, And it looks like, once again, Tuesday is, well acting quite nice for the blue laws here as well. Uh, an average return of about just over 2%. I think we've already seen a greater move than that uh, today from open to current price, but let's just double check just to make sure. And yeah, a little bit more than that as of right now, about two, two and a half, a um, little bit above two and a half percent thus far. I do think that this one um, is probably going to be a bit of an outperformer here, and I'll explain why a little bit later. But before we get into that, also in the Oracle Pro, it does look like it fired off a nice buy signal just before the rally got going yesterday, somewhere around about mid 43,000 bucks, and currently trading another almost a couple thousand bucks above that uh, number as of right now. So, not bad. So, we do see both these things kind of working hand in hand. Um, and as Jesus, man, that, that honey's going down real bad right now. Anyways, uh, we'll get into the next chart here. Um, yesterday, we were calling out that. There was potential for hidden bullish divergence on the daily time frame that was confirmed we did get our confirmation um with that move back above 43200 was the key, was the key number right there and then as we spoke about yesterday very likely a move to you know prior highs of this rally and probably continuation and well thus far we have continuation we have new highs for the year actually now here's the thing this hidden bullish divergence move uh, uh read right here is actually a particular interest because one there are multiple drives coming off of this and then two this is accompanied by extreme lows on volatility which we called out yesterday after reaching nearly zero percentile on the 30th uh saturday um so that was just a few days ago well was it a few days ago yeah it was a few days ago now my timing of of all these days is like so off nowadays um <clears throat> to put this in perspective the last time that we saw volatility this low was actually in late november before the last sort of explosion on this rally bitcoin did travel up from that low right there to the current or you know to the next high over 20 percent so i'm not saying that this move is also going to be 20 percent, but just giving you an idea uh, of what that's kind of been in the past the last time that we saw things this you know this low was back in uh, late september as well and of course that was coming off of this low right here and again that route that one did propel a rally of over 33 almost 34 percent um in the coming month or so so in this case it does look like Yet again, Bitcoin does have a bit of fuel here and likely this one does go higher. So the question is how high is it likely to go? Well, for that, I'd like to reference my HPDR bands over here. And as we can see on the daily time frame, the 50% of historic returns range high has actually stepped down quite a fair bit from yesterday to today. Yesterday, it was closer, or it was around 47,000 bucks or a little bit above 47,000 bucks. Today, it has actually stepped all the way down to 45,800. Bitcoin almost testing the high side of it thus far. So what does that imply when it steps down like this while volatility is just in the process of actually raising over here? It implies that that this actually does have a serious potential to break this range high and well travel into some lesser uh, well some you know some lesser traveled regions um, as we do see volatility expansion or, or we can extrapolate volatility expansion kind of from that as volatility is you know it's getting a little bit higher right here but more importantly that move and average is having a positive slope now after hitting that zero read or near zero read just a few days ago so ultimately i'd like to see bitcoin um you know it's not that i'd like to see it it's just if bitcoin does close above the 50 percent of historic returns range highs we can look at that as a good indication that this that this explosion of volatility that is likely coming is going to lead things you know much higher um next area of interest towards the 80 percent range is actually 
just under 50,000 bucks. Um, I do think that there would probably be something a little bit more uh, pertinent earlier before that. Um, I no longer have anything pointed towards 47,000 bucks, which is kind of concerning here, or may, maybe it's, yeah, it shouldn't necessarily be concerning. It should be more, more so a signal, I suppose, in the sense that Bitcoin, you know, it, you know, might pull back a little bit from that region, but it's unlikely to be a high of this overall move. The weekly time frame also showing the high side of the blue 50% of historic returns range high at about uh, 51. Yeah, uh, sorry, about 51,750. Um, let's see if CME has anything different here. Um, CME is actually already in the process of kind of breaking out above it, uh, above that 50% range high, which is very interesting. Daily time frame, same thing here too. It's actually more aggressive than spot price action, which is interesting. Um, wow, that one's also showing uh, 51,000 bucks as well. Um, there must be something before that though. That that seems like quite a quite a stretch. And, and just because Bitcoin breaks the 50% range high doesn't mean that it's, it's like guaranteed a move towards the 80% range high. It's just with volatility looking like this, it certainly has, you know, the, the, you know, the juice to kind of do something like that. 12 hour time frame, yeah, next range high somewhere around 46,700. That seems a little more reasonable for maybe another short term stop. Uh, but ultimately now the question is, where does Bitcoin close out the day? Um, thus really confirming, you know, the continuation of this rally. And, uh, and I really say anything above the highs of the, what was it, December the 8th? Yeah, December the 8th, which was about 44,750, let's just say 45,000 bucks. Then, yeah, Bitcoin very likely does, um, you know, have a nice major continuation on this rally. We also do see that Bitcoin reclaimed the median right here, <clears throat> or as of yesterday, I suppose. And, uh, and also, if we wanted to get in some, pa uh, some pattern stuff, some pattern, some pattern, some pattern fun, <laughs> uh, let me get a time frame that's going to make sense on this one. Um, we do see See that this was or this is an ascending triangle right here with a slew of higher lows one two three just kind of taking the width of that consolidation and applying that to the breakout um that yeah now we got some at forty seven thousand seven fifty. so areas of interest towards the upside 46,750 you got 47,750 and then you got 50,750 um so those are the areas that I'll be looking at uh, of course this is all contingent upon bitcoin's ability to close above about 45,000 bucks today um I think that that's rather likely again putting in you know in in conjunction with the Tuesday stats that Tuesday is typically the most bullish day for bitcoin um, you know, if Bitcoin does close below 45,000 bucks, it's a call to rally into question. Maybe yes. Um, where would things start to, you know, confirm this as a trap? Although I, I don't think that that's what's likely here, but you know, always need to have some sort of a, some sort of a, um, a, a backstop to be aware of that. And I'd really even just say anywhere below today's low, which is 44,200 basically below there on a closing basis. Okay. Yeah. It's a rejection and Bitcoin's, uh, very likely headed the other way. I don't think that's what happens, but that would be my, that, that would be my criteria for this for, you know, for what it's worth and for you know and for 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 what we see um it's a lot more likely that this does continue on um the question is how high does it get so that is what we have thus far i think also actually maybe one last thing before before we get into it um what else or maybe a major fib coming around there yeah actually the 786 is 50,750 man a lot of things coming in around that region what, what what about structurally that is the december 20th of 2021 or 20 what is this 2020 yeah 2021 um hi right there okay interesting yeah so i suppose that would also be an area of interest um just personally speaking i do think that looking for an extension there you know as of right now seems a little bit uh a little bit out of reach but again 46 750 47 750 and then 50 750 um all kind of uh, on the menu there um i would be expecting you know short-term pullbacks around each and every one of those regions um especially you know the 76 probably probably more than a short-term pullback um, but for right now, it looks like looks like someone knows something and we're probably going to find out about the news later on. And as usual, the price is the news. So I think that's a good place for me to be leaving off on this particular video. Um, again, sale ends tomorrow and happening is this year. Thank you for letting me know, FedCoin. That's amazing. Um, also, we are running this on a uh, on a live stream right now. So if you do want to tune in in the future, we typically do them on Tuesdays. I almost said Wednesday, but Tuesday uh, in the morning. Uh, for me in the Eastern European Hemisphere. So, uh, so if you want to join it in, well, I'll see you next Tuesday. With that said, take care, much love, and see you hopefully, maybe even next Tuesday, but also tomorrow as well. All right, take care.